pregnancies before the age of 20. That's nearly 750,000 teen pregnancies every year. These numbers show that it is important to persuade and share um, to women to look at all their options for their, preg for their pregnancy and um, why instead of abortion. Have you really thought about all your options as a pregnant woman? Ronald Reagan, a U.S. president and adopter's dad, once said, belonging to a family is a natural and vital component of life, and every child deserves to be a member of a loving and nurturing family. Today, I am here to persuade you not to get an abortion and think about all the other options that you have. I have heard many people talk about abortion and if, um, if they believe it is right or wrong, and I have decided, I decided to research what abortion is and the pros and cons to abortion and also the alternatives to abortion. This morning, I will talk about different options as a pregnant woman and reasons why abortion isn't, isn't the best choice. Now, let's talk about all the different options you have. Women not being informed on all their options as a pregnant woman is a problem because then women decide on what they think is the easiest and most convenient, that being abortion. Abortion is, so I'm, now I'm going to talk about all your options, and abortion is one of them, but one that I believe is not the best choice. Million, uh, millions of people face unplanned pregnancies every year, and about 4 out of 10 of them decide to get an abortion, and with planned pregnancies also get, and Planned pregnancies also get abortion because of health and safety reasons. Overall, one in four women in the U.S. will have an abortion by the time they're 45, and that is found on PlannedParenthood.com. Abortion being one of, the, one of the choices means that you would not have a child to care for or worry about. And um, even though abortion is a common choice, that does not make it the best or good choice for you. Abortion... Adoption, sorry, is another choice and, and in my opinion is the best because I have personally experienced that. And um, this is, adoption is a good choice because the families get to choose them specifically and they get to um, have, the children get to have new opportunities that they wouldn't have if they were still in the same family or they were aborted. There are many different options available if you choose to give your baby to another family. There are open adoptions in which you can visit your child and be part of his or her life. There are also adoptions that are closed, meaning your identity is sealed and you have no relationship with your child. And that is found on PAMF.org. And even if you put your baby um, into adoption, you can have uh, a relationship with them and you can, in the future, get to um, have con uh, connection with them. But if you feel bad or sad about the the fact that you um, put them into adoption, then you could, don't have to be part of their life. So, as I said before, I have experienced adoption. So, I was adopted when I was six because my <coughs> parents and my grandparents did not have the resources to be able to take care of me. And um, they decided that the best choice was to put me in adoption because they knew that I deserved a better life because I needed medical help. And so, my adoption story. Um, shows that adoption brought opportunity to me to learn and much more and um, putting me in adoption gave me a chance at life which you can do for your child if you choose. Another very good option is safe families. Safe families and families, safe families children, for children is a movement fueled by compassion to keep children safe and intact. Through host families, family friends, and family coaches, we temporarily host children and provide a network of support support to families in crisis while they get back on their feet. And that is found on safefamilies.org. So my uncle, Dr. Dave Anderson, was the one that founded Safe Families in 2003 in Chicago. And Safe Families is cost-free, and um, you are in charge of how your child is taken care of. So you can tell them what they need and what you want them, how you want them to be taken care of. Other options for uh, pregnant women is parenting with the support of a church, family, school, friends, or any support that you need or you can find. Um, there are also there is also foster care, which is basically like safe families, but it, as in, except that the state is in charge of how your child is cared for. As you can as you can see, there are many <coughs> options for a pregnant woman other than abortion. Now let's talk about what other people think about this. Um, this topic. Doubters would say that abortion is the best choice. 
and they are not because um, it's the best choice because uh, because they don't they don't they're not at the point of their life where they can take care of a child. But what they don't know is that by aborting their baby, they are taking away the opportunity for someone to be able to adopt. If you are young and don't have time to take care of a child, please put your child into adoption so that they can get the care they need. Um, instead of having on um, abortion, ProCon.org says that instead of having the option to abort, women should give their unwanted babies to people who cannot conceive. The percentage of infants, infants given up for adoption in the U.S. declined from 9% of those born before 1973 to 0.5% over those born in 2014. As a result of the lack of women putting their children up for adoption, the number of infant, infant adoptions dropped from 90,000 in 1971 to 18,329 in 2014. Around 2.6 million Americans are seeking to adopt children. There are 2.6 million families that want to care for a child. Give your child to someone who wants, who is dreaming of having a, their own child to care for. Now, now that we have talked about why doubters are wrong, and let's let's look at what um, the solutions could be. Here's how we can solve this problem. First. We have to inform all the pregnant women what their different options are. On uh, childrenbychoice.org says that it is important to look at how you feel about each of your options and to examine your own values and beliefs on pregnancy, parenting, and abortion and to come to the decision that is best for you. The second thing is that we have to inform the pregnant women if they're choosing to do abortion, that we have to inform them on the dangers of abortion. American Pregnancy explains that there are physical side effects and more serious complications following an abortion, such as spotting, bleeding, infection, sepsis, damage to other organs, and possibly death. There are even more, even more that I have not listed, and this is important to note because you don't want to risk your life when you have the opportunity to give your child for someone for someone else to take care of. Let's look at a world where solutions these solutions are created. And imagine a world where that unwanted baby where so everyone that wanted a baby but could not conceive had the opportunity to become parents. Imagine a world where pregnant women are told all their options for their child. Imagine a world where their women knew all the dangers of abortion and they made a choice that benefited both the baby and them. That's what happens when we tell women that what different options are when, what their different options are when they are pregnant. Please think seriously about what I have said and make your decision wisely. My plan can be your plan and every other human's plan. This morning you have heard me talk what I'll talk about what all the options for pregnant women are and why abortion isn't the best choice out of all of them. You can abort a mission, project, or transaction, but to abort an innocent human life is something that no mind or conscience should be willing to accept. I would like to encourage you to think twice about your different choices for your child and yourself before getting an abortion. Mother Teresa once said, abortion, it is poverty decline or to decide that a child must die so that you may live as you wish. This quote by Mother Teresa explains that abortion is done in a selfish way because you are doing it to live a life that you wish. Ultimately, the decision is up to you. Don't you want to, don't you want to make the decision that is in the future will make you and your child happy? I'm going to encourage you to consider all your options before you resort to, the end, to ending the life of an innocent child uh, without their consent.